Hello, uh, welcome to Cluj Diary. So, in this video, we are going to see how to use uh, this thing called N Ripple in uh, Lin Engine project. Okay, uh, I don't know, like uh, Line Engine or Lin Engine. I just call it as Lin Engine, right? How to use it in a uh, Lin Engine project and how to debug as given in this URL. Like, yeah, I'll just post this URL and everything in my notes, right? So. Uh, this is a way to debug with uh, Calva and all those things. You can debug line by line. You can keep breaks and all those stuff, right? So that's the thing, right? So let's see how to do that, right? So, so I've just got my folder. I've just got a location over here. Right? So, uh, okay. And uh, now, what shall I do? Like, okay. I'll just put like lean and then new and let me put like okay debug and break okay so dbg and break okay so this will create a new project uh okay Okay, I think it was generated. Yeah, right. So I just thought, okay, this was an error message, right? So that would explain my pause. Okay, so now let me just go into this project. Okay, debug and break. And now, like, yeah, let me start my VS Code here. Otherwise, VS Code, like most people use VS Code. I don't want to be tracked, so I use uh, VS Code here. So that's the thing. Okay, so let me just make the small and all those stuff. Okay, so, okay, so now we have just got a project and something like that and all those things. And now we have got a source and all those things. So let me create a new file, right? So something like, okay, like loop.clj and all those things. Right, okay. And it creates a namespace and all those things, right? So, okay, yeah, very good, right? Now let me start console. Like over here, there is a thing called Jackin. Okay, so okay, so I've just selected this one. Uh, it's called Jackin. Uh, that is like Calva will look what kind of project you are in, and then it will say, okay, you can jack it. But before that, I just forgot. Like you need to add this end ripple, right? So there is a file called project.clj, and if you just go over here, there is a thing called dependencies. And over here, we need to add end ripple so that, like, it will, uh, uh, what to say, it will include that end ripple. The end ripple is some kind of a middleware, like, uh, that allows some language server protocol where more debugging information is being given to the IDE and something like that, so that you can easily uh, uh, get some more intelligence and all those things, right? So, I, I don't know exactly, but the thing is, like, they are making pro programmers like bit more better right so uh that's the thing right so this has been done okay so i just added it uh that's it i just think so now let me just go for this jacket right okay jacket and okay uh len engine this is what i just know and this is what worked out when i did last time so so something has been started and all those stuff right okay right now uh, let me just check okay one plus one i don't know why everybody does one plus one but yeah we just do it right? so uh that's how it is right so let's write a loop okay loop and always we just put i because no other alphabet are present in english language and all those stuff right so okay uh when uh or to say uh less than or equal to 10 and i less than or equal to 10 okay so okay right 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 okay mm, now what print i think println println i right okay right and then record okay 
Rico, okay. Let's increment I and okay, right. Okay, so hopefully yeah, this works or this doesn't crash anything or something like that. That's right. So I'll just place my cursor over here and put option enter. Yeah, seems to work. Okay, so so now uh, there is a thing called DBG or debug. So I'll just put like DBG, right? And now, okay, like let me just place my cursor here and print. Okay, so now you'll see what happened. Look, it didn't execute. Look, last time it executed fully. So now just look, since I place this DBG, look, it just says I is equal to one. Now I can go to the next step. Okay, it is true. It is true. I less than 10 is true. Okay, so now it goes to I is one and now it is not yet printed. Now it's printing. Can you see it's printing over here, right? So I is printing over here, right? And now let me step through it. Okay, so ink I and now I is two and yeah, now it once again goes over here. So it goes through this loop and okay, yeah. So that's how it is. Now uh, let me just try this one i don't know what this button is okay continue continue yeah so if i just want to continue it fully so that's the thing and then what is this side step or uh, step over okay so i don't know what is the step over step over step over step over is also doing the same thing okay uh, i just saw right continue 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 so look uh, you've got this local variable right and and this is so good like you can watch all those variables and all these things and it is kind of a debugger seven like or a programmer seven or something like that like if you haven't done before so that's the thing right and okay and another thing what you can do is like you can keep something like break so what happens over here is okay so if i just execute this one oh, it doesn't break i don't know why so uh debug works but it doesn't break i am not sure okay uh let me do another thing uh instead of debug we can also uh do like this it's called instrument and i don't know what it means instrument right and let me just put option enter and it executes fully right? uh i don't know what's the use of break honestly Let me continue it. I must just give like i is less than or equal to 3 or something like that because it's going too much. But yeah, definitely, uh, okay, like I have mastered what debugger is, debugging is, but okay, uh, okay, what a DBG is, but I don't know what break is, okay, so let me check it out, right? So so like search i don't know how the world will be if we, if we had no search right so okay break okay what is he doing over here I'm not sure exactly what happens. Okay. Right. So the breakpoint will hit only when I is some value. Okay, right. Let's keep this, right? So let's keep this. Uh okay, and let's put DBG over here. Look, I like this DBG. Okay, like rather than going here and just calling this instrument uh, whatever it is or just putting this like whatever like shift option ci and all those stuff no that's too much like uh, uh, too much of key pressing and all those stuff right so now okay let's see if it breaks when i is seven i'm not sure all right option enter oh it just 
goes one two three nil okay yeah fine 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 right okay right okay so let me put it like 10 and run it option enter okay once again two three four five six seven eight nine ten and what's the use of this break am i doing something wrong or something i'm not sure right or let me just remove this debug let me just put option enter ah yeah so now yeah after seven it just kind of breaks and now i think i can step through okay oh, okay okay it just does only once okay so that's the text right so so yeah like let me just put like option enter once again let me just show you what it is okay option enter so seven now i think i can inspect other variables like option enter okay i is seven if i have even another variable i can just inspect so what will become of ink i right okay so right so i can just do it don't think like this ink i will increment i and so okay now okay ink i so so now it will okay yeah uh, so like don't think like okay it'll become eight and it'll skip and all those stuff right don't ever think like that okay so to enclosure it's immutable okay so data is safe so yeah uh without debug you can just put break and you, you can just break somewhere with some condition and all those stuff let us give a break without any condition okay let's see whether it breaks in every loop so just to make it easier let me put it five right one yeah it breaks yeah so now i can just inspect i option enter yeah and once again i can just do it it breaks once again over here so option okay i and option enter right okay so that's how it just goes okay so right so this is how like very rich debugging and uh, you can see what are all values over here no need to even inspect over here you can just see it over here and it's so good like uh, i just like it and i just like it and uh, but of course like i'm also trying to do it without uh Lin engine like using the depths.edn but i'm not getting it like uh, i'm not getting it right but once i get it right yeah like i'll just uh, put a video about it okay so this project yeah i just committed to github and uh, write notes about it and upload this video right so anyway, like i hope like you people would have learned something and uh what to say like uh, uh i hope it would have been useful to you uh so thanks for watching let's meet in next week bye